going on YouTube? It is I Noob here, and today we're going to be talking about Titanfall knocking the hell out of Call of Duty. Now, first things first, for those of you who don't know what Titanfall is, it's another FPS. FPS meaning first person shooter. And in Titanfall, it's a 6v6 on gigantic maps, but to compensate for the gigantic maps, there are bots, uh, non human players in the game as well so there's probably gonna be a few of them and they don't play as well when you kill them you don't get as many points but it makes the gameplay a lot faster now a lot of people are saying that titanfall is going to be a call of duty killer because ever since call of duty ghost was launched call of duty has fell down the drains and i'm gonna explain why i think titanfall is not going to be a call of duty killer but we'll get to that in a minute. First, we're going to talk about why Call of Duty Ghost is so shit. Why nobody likes this game. Now, personally, I love Call of Duty Ghost. It's not my favorite Call of Duty. I'd say Black Ops 1 is. And uh, World at War was pretty good. But Call of Duty Ghost is... It's up there. It's in my top 5, even though there's only like 10. But anyways. So, Call of Duty Ghost... You really die fast, and that's what a lot of people hate about it. They don't like the fact that you die in like three bullets, but it feels like you kill someone in, I don't know, it feels like it takes almost a full clip to kill someone, but he kills you in three bullets. Another thing is people say Call of Duty Ghost is filled with campers. And now when I say campers, I mean people, not people who run around and chill in a spot for like a minute just because they're on a high streak. I'm talking about kids who sit in the same exact spot the whole entire game and switch from corner to corner to corner just to kill you just to get kills and these are the people who have like a point eighty KDR or something these people are I don't know why they're even in this game I don't get the point of it I wouldn't buy a game just to stare at the same screen and wait for somebody to run by I buy a game so I can run around but anyways, that's their playstyle. It doesn't bother me that much. I camp too sometimes if I'm going for a nice high streak. So I'm not really going to complain about that. But that's one major reason why people hate Call of Duty Ghost. The other thing is people cannot adjust. Call of Duty Ghost isn't like your other Call of Duties. You can't run around like a headless chicken and kill the hell out of people. You have to play strategically. And when I say that, you have to. you can't just run out in the open. If you're playing Domination, you do not want to hang out by the B flag. Because you're going to get shot from the back. You're going to get shot from the side. You're going to... They're just waiting to pick you off if you're at that flag. And that's another thing people find very annoying is that they have to change their game style. Now, I was personally okay with this. I didn't mind because the maps are a lot larger, which is another thing people hate. But I like it. I really like the idea that the maps are larger and you ha actually have to think how to play. But one thing that I don't like at all about Call of Duty Ghost is it's spray and pray. You're not going to have the skilled player doing uh, with, uh, let's say, 3.0 KD doing better than a guy that has a 0.7 KD. Because that 0.7 guy, it's whoever shoots first. I mean, you're just spraying. It takes a few bullets to kill someone. It, you don't actually have to aim. You just have to make sure that, like, three or four bullets hit, which is really annoying because <clears throat> I know I'll lock on to an enemy, and I know I should get that kill, but I'll die because he just sprayed a gun that is more powerful. Even though he missed ten shots, he still hit me with four bullets. <clears throat> So that's one thing that I hate about Call of Duty Ghost, but that's the only thing I could think of. And the, there's really, like, bare minimum lag in this game. Unless your internet itself is really crap, there is no lag in this game. The uh, dedicated servers are pretty, pretty strong. I mean, if the host is garbage and your internet's, like, the best internet you have, if the host is garbage, the game's gonna be garbage. There's nothing you can do there, no matter what game you play. Battlefield, Call of Duty, uh, the new Titanfall, and yeah, so that's it. And speaking of Titanfall, we're going to be talking about why a lot of people think it's going to be a Call of Duty, Call of Duty, yeah, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, <laughs> killer. So the my first reason is now I don't personally like Titanfall. I mean, I'm gonna get it for sure if I get an Xbox, but I don't person, I wouldn't personally put it over Call of Duty just yet. 
because it is still only an Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PlayStation exclusive. Exclusive, my bad. Uh, not PlayStation. Computer, PC, my bad. PlayStation is not getting tight to fall. Get that in your heads. PlayStation is not getting it. Now, I have a PlayStation. That sucks. I agree. But I might get an Xbox One. You never know, depending on how the game is. Now, I don't personally like it just yet. I can't just say, oh, I love this game if I've never played it. So I got to play Titanfall first. But I think the thing that people will like about it is that it looks fa much more fast paced. It's different to what we have seen before. Like, yeah, Battlefield is okay, cool. You get tanks, you get boats, you get jets, you get whatever. It's still, it's always going to be Battlefield. Call of Duty is, you get nothing. You're lucky that in some Treyarch games you get an RCXD car that you could drive for like 25 seconds until it blows up and you barely get a kill. So, I mean, that's the only thing you get to drive in Call of Duty, really, that's a vehicle, a car vehicle besides helicopters and crap like that. But anyways, Titanfall, people like it a lot. They like the fact that it's... The maps are big, but there's more players. It looks different. It's something we've never seen before. You get to control gigantic robot mechanisms called Titans, and they're not overpowered like people think. Uh, Titan is probably... You're going to see them. They're they are not going to be just completely obliterating everyone. You're, you're easily vulnerable to death from the back in one of those things. Someone could just jump onto your Titan, rip you out of there, and kill you. So that's, that's, I mean, that's a Titan thing. But anyways, a lot of people like Titanfall, for one, it's more players, it's fast paced, you get to jump from building to building to building, like building hopping, like Spider-Man does. I mean, that's something we really haven't seen in a first person shooter yet. You have these unhuman-like unhu un abilities, it's weird, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It makes no sense, but for some reason, People like that. People want to play it. People just love it. And the hype that this game is getting is also getting people who never heard of it to like it. Because if, let's say, if 20 people like something out of 25 people, well, the chances are the more people that come are going to like it because they want to follow what the in thing is. And that's cool. I mean, it's cool. You want to be part of the in group. You want to like what they like. You don't want to dislike something and be part of the, like, the group that everyone hates on because I don't know they're hating on a game so you want to be part of the 20 people not the five people that dislike it you want to be part of the 20 that like it and that's cool uh, but personally I'm more I'm neutral right now as to whether I like it or not I mean it's pretty cool it's a good concept I'm gonna play it but I wouldn't go as far as to say it's a Call of Duty killer because Call of Duty is a cross-platform game so there's always going to be more sales in Call of Duty. It already has the name, like the number one FPS name, which is arguably, it might not be number one, but a lot of people say it is and a lot of people say it isn't. It all depends on what type of game style you like to play. Personally, I'll put Call of Duty in the top two uh, number one FPSs. And I don't think it's going to be beaten by Titanfall. And I'm getting a phone call right now that I'm going to have to ignore. And, yeah, remind me later in one hour. Thank you. Don't call me while I'm recording. Damn. No, but <laughs> anyways. So, Titanfall looks like it's going to be cool. Let me know what you guys think in the, de in the description. What the hell am I saying today? I'm so tired. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think of Titanfall. Is it going to be a Call of Duty killer? And also list me some reasons why you don't like Call of Duty or list me reasons why you love Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, honestly, I'll give you some reasons. I gave you the reasons why I like that and I gave you one reason why I don't like it or two. But it's still probably in my top five Call of Duties because Call of Duty Ghosts is a fun game if you're good at it. If you could go on nice kill streaks, if you could get KEM strikes, it is honestly such a great game. And anyways guys, this is iNoob for fun. I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help out a lot. We hit over 700 subscribers now, and I can't thank you guys enough with 55,000 video views. 
that is insane. That's a large number that I never thought I'd see. So I have nothing to thank, no one to thank but you guys. Excuse my words today, I am dead tired. I have no one to thank but you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, again, I'll say it one more time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll even add a little button here for you guys to practice your aim. Alright guys, have a good one.